What up, what up, what up, everybody? Welcome back to West Coast Sneakers. I'm your host, D-Lo. Man, it's been, a, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been four weeks, you know what I'm saying? I know I said that last video, and I'm saying it again this, you know, this video, but this time I took much, much longer to make a new video, and, you know, I apologize for that, y'all. That is on my behalf. Um, I was going through some things, man, and just I got a little sick, you know what I'm saying? So I just took the time to recover my body and just, you know, come back healthier and, you know, just be able to function properly, man, get more energy inside of my body and everything. Um, but, you know, I hope everything's going well with y'all. I hope everything's going good. You know, I hope y'all staying healthy and all that, man. Um, I'm just, you know, I, you know, I just appreciate that I'm... I'm here and I just appreciate that y'all, you know, y'all come and watch my videos and everything like that, man. You know, I never um, want to take this for granted. So, you know, I appreciate that very, very much. You know, I appreciate the love and support y'all be showing me, man. Um, but, yeah, I hope everything's been well for y'all. Um, and if you're new here, if you're new to this channel, if you're new over here at West Coast Sneakers, man, you know, hit that subscribe button. You know, hit that like button. You know, I appreciate that very, very much. You know, everybody here is welcome um, at West Coast Sneakers. If you already been here with us, you already know what to do, man. Smash that thumbs up button. I'd appreciate that very, very, very much. Moving forward, um, today's video, I just wanted to talk about, you know, um, something, you know, that I feel like a lot of people can relate to. Um, and before, you know, I go any further, I just want to make a quick statement that, you know, I ain't siding with no, you know, I ain't siding with the resellers. I ain't siding, you know, with the people who hate resellers and stuff like that. You know, I'm, I'm very neutral to this because, you know, I get the perspective from both sides. Um, but before I go into that, you know, I don't want anybody you know, thinking that this channel is only for resellers and stuff like that. And like, nah, bro, it's it's not just for resellers. It's, you know, for everybody, you know, everybody in the sneaker community, whether you're a reseller, whether, you know, you're just the person who, you know what I'm saying, likes shoes and, and you know, is a, is a what, what did that one guy say when he was going to buy the Jordan 11 Concords? He said, uh... uh and I, I, I'm a shoe connoisseur. Sneakerhead, man, you know, into the sneaker culture, you know, OG, whatever you want to call yourselves, man. Um, this channel's for everybody, man, and I just want to make that very clear. You know, I ain't on one side, you know, even though I, you know, have my disagreements and, you know, agreements with, you know, either sides and stuff like that. Um, I just want to make that clear that this channel, you know, is for everybody, man. And, you know, what I'm going to talk about today is mainly going to be towards the resellers, but, but I want y'all to listen, you know, out here as well. You know, if you don't, if you don't resell, if you don't like none of that, you know, this video is also for you, man. So, you know, I just want y'all to gain a little more knowledge and, you know, see where it goes from there. So without further ado, you know what I'm saying? Let's get straight into this video. I have three items with me today that I wanted to point out and just bring more to light. And I wanted to make y'all realize something, man, whether you're a reseller or whether you know you're just as a collector. And these three items I want y'all to, you know, I want I want y'all to really pay attention to what I'ma say. Um, I'm gonna go one by one and you know, I'm going to iron out the details on, you know, every shoe. Um, but, you know what I'm saying? I just need y'all to listen. Um, I'm going to give both perspectives for both sides. You know what I'm saying? I got it right here. It is um, a Nike Dunk. This is my size. I got this on the sneakers pass the other day that, that went live for the two Dunks. Um, and I had got in the Syracuse Dunks, you know, white, orange, can never go wrong, man. This is a clean shoe. I wasn't coming here to make a review. I was actually coming here, uh, well, making this video 
to to talk about you know this particular shoe man and why i think it's a it's a good uh, investment as some people would call it if you're not into you know doing that resale stuff i could call this what is it that word just uh trade bait yeah um this would be a good trade bait and i just wanted to talk about this real quick um this is a good is a good shoe to hold man um I see the value going up into it simply because I think it was last year they had dropped this dunk, uh, the Syracuse dunks, but in the low, low top uh, form. And th that that shoe, I think, I think it's doing like $400 right now. Um, I had to check if I'm wrong, you know, my apologies, but I will put that, you know, right next to me in this video. It'll pop up on the screen uh, to see the value of it. But I think this is a really good uh, hold, you know, even though it's a high, I, I still feel like, you know, it would be a good hold because, you know, it's a, it's a basically, you know, it's a, it's a true to your school, man. You know, it's a OG, I guess you could say, you know, from back in the day, the, the lows went, went up. So why not, you know, why not the high? I mean, the high is basically what they wore and, you know, when they advertise this shoe as a true to your school pack. Next up, I got the Air Jordan 4. This shoe recently just came out, man. It had a lot of hype behind it. And it's a very, very good shoe. You know what I'm saying it's a very good looking shoe. The color and everything. Um, Y'all should know what I'm talking about. This is a GS pair though. But I'm gonna explain that to y'all in a minute. You know what I'm saying? The Air Jordan 4, UNC, man, you know what I'm saying? Um, this is a very, very dope shoe, man. I actually had got my size, but, you know, I decided to to sell it. I don't know why I did that, you know what I'm saying? But I will eventually get that back. I really like the shoe, you know what I'm saying? I should have just kept it for myself, you know? Um, but I don't know what I was thinking, but I, I ended up selling it, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, thinking about selling and, and all that, that shoe I feel like would be a good trade bait shoe. I see that shoe doing numbers and I feel like, you know, that would be a, a good shoe that you could use to trade down the line as well as, you know, holding the resale value and everything, especially on the grade school pairs. You know, the, the amount of grade school pairs that they make, you know, is really, is really low, so... I personally advise, you know, getting as many grade school pairs as you can. Um, getting like four, four to five, you know, if, if depending on how much money you have too, man. You know, it's, this isn't just, uh, you know, spend spend your money if you don't have it, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, if you have money to, to spare and you want to make an investment, I personally believe that these are a good go-to, you know, to save up. Uh, to save up money and just get a bunch of pairs of these on. Um, as well as the man size. The man size as well, you know what I'm saying, is, is a very, very good hold. Um, I see it down the line as well, using it as trade bait. Basically, you know, man, honestly, I, I can't predict how, um, how far it will go to. I feel like... I feel like it, it, it could potentially hit 700, um, you know what I'm saying, that would be a good, <laughs> that would be a good value shoe to, to trade in with, with other shoes, but for this one, as well as GS, I see, I see it hitting 500, personally, to me, I see it hitting 500, um, but, you know, only time will tell, but you also gotta think about the colorway, man. You know what I'm saying? It is UNC. Everybody loves UNC um, for some reason, except when it's March Madness. Um, you know what I'm saying? And I just see it doing very, very good numbers down the line. My last and third shoe that I want to show showcase here, um, this shoe had a lot of hype around me. And I'm surprised I hit these for retail. They're actually doing good numbers right here. As you can see, this recently also just came out. Um, it's a seven Y. It is a Jordan one, of course. Um, and here we got 
if y'all seen the early uh, early review video that I did on this man it's probably the most popular video that I have um, Air Jordan 1 Hyper Royal you know what I'm saying this shoe is, is, is dope you know it actually grew on me I think I said in the video that I didn't like didn't like this shoe but it actually grew on me I ain't gonna lie unless it's the the GS pair you know the grade school pair that they're making it look a little different but you know this shoe you know there's nothing really much to say about it man you know it's it's it had a lot of hype around it and I feel like the more you hold it the better you know what I'm saying that nice blue color you know what I'm saying I guess you know some people would call these like the turbo greens and you know we we see what the turbo greens are doing man but i really think that this shoe is a is a great shoe and i see that it has a lot of potential as well as using it as trade bait man um getting the grade school pairs the you know there's not a lot of grade school pairs like i'm saying they make less stock than they do um with the men's and i feel like that shoe specifically you know will, will do numbers in 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 the future and you know, as well as man's, you know, as grabbing man's or grade school with any of the three pairs that I showcased, you know, I feel like, you know, you'll be set, you know, whether it's, like I said, whether it's making an investment into these shoes and trying to make money off of it later or trying to use these shoes as trade, but, you know, you might, you know, you might go in there and you might get some, you might see something you want and, you know, but you don't want to waste the money so you know you can combine all these three shoes and their value or you know you can combine all the shoes that you have um buying six or four pairs of each you know what i'm saying and you know using that as trade bait man you know what i'm saying Wh whatever it may be the case but um these three shoes i feel like are very very good shoes to invest in whether like i said it's trying to get a little money later on or trying to use it as trade bait for something you want, man. You know what I'm saying? Maybe some Travis Scott's, maybe some some unions. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's gonna go up that type of high, but you know, the, with the combination of three, you know, you could almost have like a thousand dollars worth of value right there, man. You know what I'm saying? Basically, what I want to talk about today, man, is some shoes that I feel like you know would be good investment into. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to make this video too long. Had patience. I just came back, you know, and I'm just getting started to doing this again, y'all. But um, other than that, you know, I hope everything goes well for y'all, man. Y'all have a good weekend, um, depending on when I upload this, or a good week, you know what I'm saying? But um, other than that, man, you know what I'm saying? This is West Coast Sneakers. I'm your host, D-Lo, and I'm signing out.